When it comes to robots and military technology, China is gaining ground fast. To achieve this, the nation debuted its newest heavy-duty military robot. According to a report by the state-run Global Times, they claim to have created the world's largest quadruped bionic robot. Now a lot of people are saying this looks like a massive mechanical yak, but honestly, I'm picturing the walkers from Star Wars. These massive robots are meant to carry more than 350 pounds at 6 miles per hour. Once deployed, these are going to help with transporting equipment to soldiers stationed in far-off locations. These are also designed for reconnaissance operations in challenging situations. This means things like border regions and dangerous battle zones. The military robot may be armed and essentially used for ground-based drone warfare, according to an unnamed Chinese specialist. It is important to note that the expert specifically says that this is only if needed. People's Daily is a publication connected to the Chinese government, and they posted a video that shows the robot strolling along a deserted road. It's also seen climbing sandy hills in the desert. This is already extremely helpful since there's a lot of areas in the world that are inaccessible to ordinary vehicles. Recently, China unveiled its first home-built Yak robot, which can carry 160 kilograms. The robot is capable of operating in a variety of weather and road conditions. The design is pretty familiar at this point. This is because the robot is designed similar to the Boston Dynamics Alpha Dog robot, and it's even more similar to the Boston Dynamics previously produced Big Dog, which is a different version of the Alpha Dog that can move 340 pounds at 4 miles per hour. This revolutionary robot yak from China can move diagonally, backward, and forward. According to state media, it can even dash and jump. It's looking like the country's military is planning to use it to transport supplies, such as food and ammunition, through deserts or mountain terrains where other vehicles usually have difficulty. What is alarming though is the possibility that the robot could be weaponized for reconnaissance operations. Moreover, China created the Geta, which is another four-legged robot that is significantly significantly smaller and can aid in transporting supplies to far-off places. China's most recent collection of the four-legged robots demonstrates the nation's most recent technological developments on the battlefield, which is a fast-expanding sector that has the potential to fundamentally alter how wars are fought in the future. The part where you go on forever without stopping for rest, sustenance, or human casualties is the most visible. There are a few small refueling and charging concerns. The Wuhan virus marked a boundary that was crossed and was widely debated, as its novelty wears off and the world resigns to smokescreens of denial and shift. Non-conventional warcraft will gain wider currency. It's not in the mainstream yet, but it's very likely that it's going to be nibbling at the fringes very fast. Robotic warfare is leading the way, supported by AI and the internet. Robotic warriors are immune to radioactive, chemical, and biological conditions. They can perform high-G turns in the air, which would be impossible for a human pilot. Under potential command, unnamed systems fly faster and turn harder. This is extremely advantageous, especially at Sea State 6, which has waves that are over 20 feet high and the harshest imaginable seas. It's likely that we would see robotic sailors calmly cruising through some pretty hellish waters. And then there's the entire idea of digital speed, which includes shorter learning curves and intelligence that has been jumbled. All of this is incredibly scalable, adaptable, and resistant to some version or honey traps. Robots that are usable, deployable, and disposable are now cheap thanks to technology. Robotic soldiers are impervious to anything from armies and battle cries to suicide bombers. The idea that humans are unique is one that I would like to accept, but honestly, as AIs and robots evolve more and more, I'm not so certain about this. Regardless of how exceptional or different you and I may be, all that exists between us is a collection of arranged atoms. Humans, along with our brains, are physical beings that abide by physical rules. Despite everything that makes us unique, and despite what we might like to think, from the perspective of creation, we are nothing special. Many of our decisions are not the result of clear or deductive thinking. In fact, many of our choices don't even stand up to reasoned analysis. AI is capable of effective reasoning and learning from experience. Maybe computers with a level of mental theory will exist in the future. 
and there's gonna be soldier machines. The robotic soldier heralds this fantastic future. A funny example of how robotic warfare began was the Chinese offensive with their squabbling robot warriors. From a human perspective, there are seven universal story plots. I see the rise of robots spawned and led by AI as the plot of slaying the beast. The beast has been an abstract mathematical theory of computing complexity in the rise of robotic movements. It highlighted the incredibly challenging AI difficulties. The quest plot would also work because it is comparable to the Holy Grail quest of medieval knights. Well, here it is. Sooner than we anticipated, the line of actual control changes made by the PLA is merely lead-ins and pegs in a shifting military environment. The head rabbi of Prague invented the Golem, a mythical creature meant to defend the Jewish community of the city against anti-Semitic violence in the early 1600s. From Alan Turing's musings in the 1950s, can machines think? The robotic warrior is approaching to provide the emerging, they can, response, and will do so with increasing complexity. It doesn't care for any Golem. Our understanding of war has advanced far more quickly than we had anticipated. The smart, gallant, valiant flesh and blood soldier will yield flesh to smart material and smarter non-human soldiers. These non-human soldiers don't care for medals, badges, or mentions in dispatches, or for that matter, any honor codes of soldiers. Without quarters asked or given, the robotic soldier will epitomize the dehumanization of humanity and the ascendance of cold, hard robotic machines. This sounds like the apocalypse of the battlefield reality. Alright guys, that wraps up today's video, how do you perceive the use of robots on battlefields? We love to know what you think in the comment section below, so please leave a comment and give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to support this video.